The Euclid Space Telescope is one of the European Space Agency's missions that was launched in July 2023 to map the dark universe like never before. By observing billions of galaxies and stars, Euclid will try to understand how the dark universe behaves and how it affects the expansion and evolution of the cosmos. But mapping the dark universe is not an easy task. It requires a lot of precision, accuracy, and innovation. And Euclid has faced some challenges and setbacks during its commissioning phase, which is the period when the telescope is tested and calibrated before starting its scientific operations. In this video, we will tell you about some of the problems that Euclid encountered and how they were solved. We will also explain what the scientific goals and challenges of Euclid are and why they are so important for our understanding of the universe. So, stay tuned and watch this video till the end. One of the problems that Euclid faced during its commissioning phase was related to its Fine Guidance Sensor, or FGS. The FGS is a device that helps orient the telescope by locking onto known stars. It is essential for Euclid's orientation and pointing accuracy, which are crucial for its scientific objectives. It works by comparing the positions of stars in its field of view with a star catalog stored in its memory. By doing so, the FGS can determine where Euclid is pointing and how it needs to adjust its attitude to keep its target in focus. However, during the commissioning phase, the European Space Agency noticed that the FGS was failing to track faint stars, which are more abundant in the sky than bright ones. This meant that Euclid was having trouble finding suitable reference stars to orient itself. The reason for this problem was that the FGS was affected by factors like cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles that come from outer space and can interfere with electronic devices. Cosmic rays can create false signals or noise in the FGS images, making it harder for the FGS to distinguish between real stars and fake ones. To fix this problem, ESA extended the commissioning phase to write a software update that improved the FGS performance. The software update included a new algorithm that filtered out the noise caused by cosmic rays and enhanced the contrast between stars and backgrounds. This new update also increased the sensitivity of the FGS, allowing it to detect fainter stars than before. With these improvements, the FGS was able to track faint stars more reliably and accurately, ensuring Euclid's orientation and pointing stability. This problem and solution show how the European Space Agency had to adapt and innovate to overcome unexpected challenges during Euclid's commissioning phase. The FGS is not only important for Euclid's orientation, but also for its scientific measurements. For example, one of Euclid's goals is to measure how gravity bends light from distant galaxies, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing, which can reveal information about dark matter that is invisible but has mass and affects light. To measure gravitational lensing, Euclid needs to have a very precise knowledge of where it is pointing and how it is oriented. This is where the FGS comes in handy, as it provides Euclid with accurate reference stars to calibrate its images and measurements. Another problem that Euclid faced was related to its Visible Light Instrument, or VIS, which is one of the two main instruments on board Euclid, along with the Near Infrared Instrument. However, the VIS is sensitive enough to discern reflected light from galaxies that are billions of light years away from us. It works by capturing images of these galaxies in visible light using a large camera with 36 detectors. Then, its images are combined with the near-infrared instrument images to create a comprehensive map of the dark universe. However, during the commissioning phase, they noticed that some of the VIS images had strange streaks of light in them. These streaks looked like scratches or smudges on a lens or a mirror. But after careful inspection, they realized that these streaks were not caused by any defect or damage to Euclid's optics. Rather, they were caused by an external source of light that was reflecting off a part of one of Euclid's thrusters. The thrusters are small engines that help control Euclid's position and velocity in orbit. They are located at the back of Euclid's spacecraft bus, which is the part that houses the electronics, communications, and power systems. The spacecraft bus is separated from the telescope by a sun shield, 
which is a large structure that protects the telescope from direct sunlight and keeps it cool. The sun shield is supposed to block any light from reaching the telescope, but in some cases, a tiny amount of sunlight managed to evade the sun shield and hit a part of one of the thrusters. This part was a metal ring that surrounded the nozzle of the thruster. The metal ring acted like a mirror and reflected the sunlight back to the telescope, creating the streaks of light in the VIS images. The stray light affected about 10% of the VIS images, mostly in regions near the edge of the field of view. To mitigate the impact of the stray light, ESA used software algorithms and data analysis techniques to identify and remove the affected pixels from the VIS images. ESA also adjusted the orientation and timing of Euclid's observations to avoid pointing at regions where the stray light was more likely to occur. With these measures, ESA reduced the effect of the stray light on Euclid's scientific performance. But the VIS is not only important for Euclid's scientific objectives, but also for its data quality and quantity. For example, one of Euclid's goals is to measure how galaxies are distributed and clustered in space, a phenomenon known as large-scale structure. It can reveal information about dark energy, which is invisible but has negative pressure and accelerates the expansion of the universe. To measure large-scale structure, Euclid needs to have a large and clean sample of galaxies to analyze. This is where the VIS comes in handy, as it provides Euclid with high-resolution images of galaxies in visible light that can be used to select and classify them. The FGS and VIS problems and solutions are just two examples of the many challenges that Euclid has faced and overcome during its commissioning phase. But these challenges are not only technical, but also scientific. The telescope has ambitious scientific goals and challenges, such as seeking out dark matter and dark energy, mapping billions of targets, and understanding how the dark universe affects the cosmos. To achieve these goals, Euclid will map over a third of the extragalactic sky and observe billions of targets like galaxies and stars. It will cover an area of about 15,000 square degrees, which is equivalent to about 75 full moons, or 36% of the entire sky. It will observe about 1.5 billion galaxies up to a distance of 10 billion light years from us, which means looking back in time to when the universe was less than half its current age. It will also observe about 50 million stars in our own galaxy, the Milky Way, which will help us understand its structure and history. But mapping such a large and deep volume of space is not a simple task. It requires a lot of data processing, analysis, and interpretation. Euclid will generate about 10 petabytes of data over its six-year mission lifetime, which is equivalent to about 2 million DVDs or 20 million books. This data will be transmitted from Euclid to Earth via a radio link that operates at a rate of about 850 gigabytes per day, which is equivalent to about 170 DVDs or 1,700 books per day. It will be stored and processed by a network of ground stations and data centers across Europe that will use advanced software tools and algorithms to extract scientific information from it. But data processing is not enough. Data interpretation also requires a lot of theoretical modeling, simulation, and validation. Euclid will test various models and hypotheses about dark matter and dark energy using its data as evidence. But these models are not simple or unique. They involve many parameters and assumptions that need to be calibrated and compared with other observations from other missions or experiments. This requires a lot of collaboration and communication between ESA and other space agencies, scientists, and stakeholders to ensure Euclid's success. The Euclid Space Telescope is a complex and innovative mission that requires careful planning, testing, and troubleshooting to achieve its objectives. It is also a powerful and ambitious mission that has great potential to advance our knowledge of the dark universe and its mysteries. If you want to know more about Euclid and its progress, you can visit its official website or follow its social media accounts. You can also watch other videos on this channel that explain more about the dark universe and its phenomena. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you next time.